Technology has given designers so much. Their computer-assisted designs can be etched or engraved with lasers or printed in 3D, a whole new box of tools, but also leeching in from the online world, a whole new set of design ideas. The Wiki House Project aims to bring house building into the internet age by making available open source plans for houses built out of one principal material. They've pioneered a construction formula to make well-priced, well-built houses from wood. OK, so it looks like a shed, but it's early days. And isn't this what open source is all about? You download for free and elaborate something grander using the same system. Wiki House... Fundamentally, the idea is to make an open source construction set. And in real terms, what that means is, uh, using digital fabrication, we can make it possible to share designs of houses that effectively anyone can just download and adapt for their own needs and their own site and, uh, and uh, essentially print out. They don't need any tools, they don't need any construction skill, um, and hopefully they don't need too much money. But what they can get is a very high-performance product. On show at London's Design Museum, an exhibition exploring how digital technology is blurring the lines between those coming up with product ideas, those who make them, and those who use them. Wikis, open source, crowdsourcing, these are familiar ways of getting things done online that are now getting a comfortable reception in the world of design. Take this sofa, seats too, but a crowd was involved in its design. The company put out an internet call for entries and got its online community to vote on their favourite. The winners on show at the Design Museum and for sale on the company website. Digital machining means that you can make kind of um, small batches of objects and there's no kind of economy of scale. Each one will cost exactly the same no matter how many you make. But that also enables each one to be different. And that's where the consumer comes in. You can actually take on the input of the consumer and make each individual project bespoke and customised for that particular consumer. A number of design websites are now harnessing the power of the internet to generate crowdsourced ideas. At Quirky, for example, members not only vote for original ideas, but shape every stage of the creation process, influencing what the final product will look like, even helping to name it and deciding on a price tag. These platforms might seem like an opportunity, but could they actually be undermining the future for young designers? There is an economic reality which we're facing, and the design industry has, has been hit very badly. Uh, graduates come out, there are no jobs. Uh, I, I, I do worry that they, they, they will perhaps not have been equipped properly to, to recognise what, what is a rip-off and what isn't. A lot of the mainstream crowdsourcing websites, just from what I, the impression I get, is that they just automate this and amplify it. Uh, and, and they put a gloss over it and pretend that it's not free pitching, but essentially it is. So, personalised products, cut-and-paste homes, democratic design. Is this really the glittering future? Well... Not everyone is convinced. Digits to Widgets specialises in high-end 3D printing. They question whether just because everyone now can, they're necessarily going to want to design and produce. If you walk down the high street and pass 100 people on the street, can you seriously suggest that there are, each and every one of those people is actually motivated, interested, creative enough have the time or the inclination to go home and make their own bits and bobs? I don't think so. This innovative birdhouse is a 3D printing project by a couple of young designers. For fledglings to the profession, these are testing times. Digital technology has ushered in a new era for so many industries, and it hasn't always been good news for those with a skill to sell. If we could harness user participation and collaboration while still guaranteeing a fair deal for designers, well, that really would be a revolution. <laughs>